The week is over, which means this week's memory challenge is over as well. So hopefully you learned all the information about the president, vice president, political party, and term dates this week. If not, that's okay because the main idea behind these challenges is that you're just learning information. So if it takes you a little bit longer to learn, that's fine. But tomorrow we're going to have a brand new memory challenge. So now I want to recall all the information for you. And so I was really distracted when learning this information. But if I put all the time together, it probably took me an hour or so to learn the president's, vice president, political party, and term dates. And so get ready because I'm going to recall all this information. So it may take a little while, but I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. And forgive me if I you know, missay something because I'm trying to think ahead. So just you know, try to spit out really fast. So, of course, we're going to start with the very first president. And on the screen, I'm going to put the president so you know if I'm saying them right or not. So, okay, the first president is George Washington. Um, John Adams is vice president, independent, and from 89 to 97 and 1700s, okay? So, George Washington and John Adams, the only presidents in the 1700s. So, next president is John Adams. His vice president is Thomas Jefferson. Uh, he's a Federalist, and he's from 97 to 01. So, now starts the 1800s. So, I'm not going to be saying you know, 1800, 1801, or anything like that, because from this point all the way to William McKinley, that's going to be the 1800s. So the third president is Thomas Jefferson, Vice President Aaron Burr, Aaron Burr, George Clinton, Democratic, Republican, and from 09 or 01 to 09. And so that's going to, that's going to be the format. I'm going to say the president, vice president, political party, term date. Next president is James Madison. James Madison, George Clinton, um, Albridge, Jerry, Democratic, Republican, 09 to 17. The next president is James Monroe, Daniel D. Tompkins, Democratic Republican, 1725. Uh, next president is John Quincy Adams. Uh, vice president is John C. Calhoun, uh, Democratic Republican, 25 to 29. Next president is Andrew Jackson, um, Andrew Jackson, John C. Calhoun, Martin Van Buren are the vice presidents. Uh, He's Democratic and from uh, 29 to 37, the first Democratic president. Next president is Martin Van Buren. Uh, then it, it's um, Richard M. Johnson and he's Democratic from uh, four, 37 to 41. Yep. Okay, just making sure. Next president is William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, Whig Party, uh, 41. He was the, the year 41. Uh, that's all. So that's him. Next president is John Tyler. He has no vice president. Uh, 41 to 45. And he's a Whig. Pretty sure I said that too. So just making sure. Uh, next is James Knox Polk. Uh, George M. Dallas. He's Democratic from 45 to 49. And I just want to make sure I say John Tyler was from 41 to 45. Just want to make sure James, um, <laughs> James Knox Polk, 45 to 49. Next president is Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, uh, Wake Party, and then from 49 to 50. Next president is Millard Fillmore, no vice president, Wig from um, 50 to 53. Next president is Franklin Pierce, uh, Franklin Pierce, William R. King, Democratic, 53 to uh, 57. Next president is James Buchanan. James Buchanan, uh, John C. Breckenridge is his vice president. He's Democratic from, from 57 to 61. Next is Abraham Lincoln, Hannibal Hamlin, Andrew Johnson, uh, Republican from 61 to 65. The next president is Andrew Johnson, no, no vice president, Republican from 65 to 69. Next president is U Ulysses Simpson Grant, um, Skylar Colfax, Henry Wilson, Republican, 69 to 77. Then we have Rutherford, uh, Rutherford Bridgehart Hayes, uh, William A. Wheeler, Republican, 77 to um, 81. Next president is James... Uh, Ooh, James Abram Garfield, uh, Chester Allen Arthur is vice, vice president, and then the Republican, he's a Republican, the president, and from 41 to, or not, not 41, 81, 
A1. And so Rutherford B. Hayes, if I mess up by accident, it's um, 77 to 81. Okay, is his term date. James Abram Garfield is just 81. Okay, so hopefully I, clear, I may have no miss said something, so forgive me. Next, we have um, Chester Allen Arthur, Republican, no vice president, and from 81 to 85. Next is Stephen Grover Cleveland, Thomas Hendricks, Democratic, and then uh, from 85 to 89, then we have Benjamin Harrison, Levi M. or Levi P. Morton, Republican, from um, from 89 to 93. Then we have, again, Stephen Grover Cleveland, Adlai E. Stevenson um, is the vice president, from uh, Democratic, from 93 to 97. Now we have the last of the 1800s president, William McKinley, um, Garrett A. Hobart, Theodore Roosevelt, Republican, from 97 to 01. So um, he starts the 1900 president, so I'm not going to say you know, 1900 anything. So um, so this is the 1900s, um, okay, the 20th century. So after him, we have Theodore Roosevelt, Charles W. Fairbanks, uh, Republican, and um, 01 to 09. Then we have William Howard Taft, uh, Vice President is James S. Sherman, with Republican, 09 to 13. Then we have Roger Wilson, um, Roger Wilson, Thomas R. Marshall, Democratic from 13 to uh, 13 to 21. Yeah, 13 to 21. Okay. Then we have um, Warren uh, Jam Jamalil, maybe. I, I don't know how to pronounce his names. It's Warren G. Harding. <laughs> Warren uh, Jamalil Harding. Uh, so we have him. Calvin Coolidge is vice president. Republican from uh, from 21 to 23. Yeah, from 21 to 23. Okay, the next president is Calvin Coolidge, whose vice president is Charles G. Um, Dawes, and the Republican from, uh, let me see, 23 to 29. Okay, then we go to Herbert Clark Hoover, whose vice president is jo or Charles Curtis, uh, Republican from 29 to 33. Then we have FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Um, then he has three vice presidents. So I want to sure get them in order. So we have John Nance Gardner, Henry A. Wallace, Harry S. Truman. He's a Democratic. Um, FDR is Democratic. And from 33 to 45. Then we have Harry S. Truman. Um, Albin W. Barkley. He's Democratic. And from 45 to 53, then we have um, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Dwight David um, Eisenhower. And then his vice president is Richard Mailhouse Nixon. Um, he's a Republican from 53 to 61. Then we have John F. Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Uh, his vice president is Lyndon Baines Johnson. Um, okay, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Democratic. From 61 to 63, then we have Lyndon Baines Johnson. Vice President is Hubert Horatio Humphrey, um, Democratic, from 63 to 69. Then we have Richard Milhouse Nixon. Um, then we have Spiro, uh, Vice President Spiro, Spiro T. Agnew, Gerald Rudolph Ford from 69 to 74. Next president is Gerald Rudolph Ford. Um, Nick Nelson Rockefeller is the vice president. It's a Republican from 74 to 77. Then we have James Earl Carter Jr., Jimmy Carter. Uh, his vice president was Walter Mondale, Democratic, from 77 to 81. Then we have Ronald Wilson Reagan. Um, vice president is George H.W. Bush, George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, Republican from 81. One to eighty nine. Then we have the next president, which is um, which is George <laughs> George uh, Herbert Walker Bush, um, J. Danforth um, Quayle is a vice president, a Republican from uh, from eighty eighty nine to ninety three. Okay, eighty nine to ninety three. And then the next president is William Jefferson Clinton, um, Bill Clinton, and he starts the 2000 presidents. 
Uh, his vice president is Al Gore Jr., uh, Democratic, from 93 to 01. Then we have George, um, George Walker Bush. For the next president, with Richard Cheney, uh, Dick Cheney. He, he is a Republican. And from 01 to 09. 0 to 09. Then we have Barack Obama and Joe Biden is vice president. He's Democratic from 09 to 17, 2017. And that's all. That's all for 44 presidents of the United States. Soon, very soon, we're going to have a 45th president. So I can just add on to that. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. All 44 presidents of the United States, all the vice presidents, all the political parties of the presidents. I just want to make sure that the political parties I was telling was not to the vice president, it was to the actual president, okay? Just to kind of make that clear, because I know I just like the order may have made, made it seem like, oh, I'm saying the political party for the vice president. And I give you the terminates. So yeah, so uh, I believe I got, got it all right in my head. It all seemed right. Maybe I said something wrong, uh, because there were some points where I wasn't sure if I said information or not, because I was just, you know, kind of just spew it out. And yeah, so, you know, these techniques I'm teaching you are powerful, and they can allow you to do amazing things and learn information at an incredible rate, but do amazing things with it as well. Uh, I'm going to make a video update again about the presidents because it, you can give me any part of any of the presidents and I can tell you the corresponding information. So if you gave me, like, you know, Harry S. Truman, um, who was the president when he was the vice president? So I could tell you all the information re related to that, which is FDR, uh, which is a FDR, was the president. So I could tell you, like, the terminate and all that different stuff based on one piece of information. And even if you told me like, hey, John Tyler, I'm like, hey, what do you wanna know? When John Tyler was the president or when John Tyler was the vice president for Henry or William Henry Harrison. And so just think about that, like saying that name or that specific piece of information, I instantly know where it is. I see it perfectly. And so that's what's really cool about these techniques. And if you wanna know exactly how I did this, you can check out my program because I teach you exactly the methods and techniques I use to learn, to learn the information, to learn all the presidents, vice presidents, political party, and terminates. But also, there's some extra goodies specifically about how you can just keep adding information um, to the president specifically. So if you want to learn how to do that and all the different um, memory techniques, all the different learning strategies, how to learn more efficiently and effectively, you can check out my program. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, it was pretty exciting to kind of see me recall the presidents. He's like, oh, he's going to get it right. He's going to get it wrong. Uh, I enjoyed it. You know, I'm always, I'm always excited to share and show people, hey, these techniques work. You know, you just have to put a little time to get used to it. But if you put that time in, that's where the magic happens. That's where you can learn information at an incredible speed. So hopefully you enjoy this video and look forward to tomorrow's memory challenge.